someone else to stand out more than uh, some other distracting components in a picture. Um, that's basically what I'm going to show you today. Now, normally, um, you want to do this in camera. Uh, I had a lot of trouble finding a picture to um, use as an example uh, for you guys, but you want to do this in the camera by having a, a bigger aperture. Um, a bigger aperture means a, s a smaller number, as most of you know already. Um, but and you want to use a, a telephoto lens, uh, preferably to, to get the best depth of field effect, um, which will bring one thing in focus and the background out of focus. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that artificially in Photoshop. Um, you can do that because you can obviously do everything in Photoshop so here we go I already have a picture open um, here alright so this is a, a wedding that I did not that long ago um, it's pretty much just uh, it's a pretty bad image but it's all I could find for an ex as an ex to use as an example um, Pretty much what's distracting us is, you know, this, you know, we want this here, but at the same time, we don't want it to overpower the three, um, the two bridesmaids and the bride, as well as this here. It's a little bit maybe too in focus, so um, we're going to go ahead and take it out a little bit. Uh, so basically, the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate, you want to duplicate your layer. Um, by doing this, you want to drag this down to this little box here, and it'll duplicate it. Uh, so this one, I don't usually rename my layers just because I remember things, uh, but you can if you want. Uh, so for this top layer now, you're going to go to Filter and Blur, and then you want to go to Lens Blur. Uh, Gaussian Blur also works, but um, me personally, I'd rather Lens Blur. It looks more real to me. So we're going to go ahead and open that. It'll take a moment because my computer is a little slow, but it, it does it. Sorry, that's my dog in the background making noises, uh, crying. <laughs> but um, here we go. So this is a little overdone. Uh, we want to take this down just a little bit. Uh, you, want, you do that by using radius. Uh, higher number, obviously, gives you more blur, and the lower number gives you less. Uh, so I want to take off a little bit. Let's see how much exactly I want. Um, for the tutorial's purpose, I'm going to do a little, I'm going to overdo it a little bit so you can see it a little better. But um, I'm going to say around 36. And then all you do is you click OK. And it'll just take a moment. Actually, it won't just take a moment. It'll take forever. But I have a lot of things open right now, sorry for the slowness. Any day now. Okay, uh, so that, I paused it and came back, so that's done now. Um, now that we did that, now we want to add a layer mask. Um, basically what we do is click this button down here. Um, uh, make sure you, you've selected the white box once you, once you click that, and that's uh, the mask itself. Uh, next you want to make sure that your black is on top of the white as your foreground color. Uh, so... You're going to take the black and basically all you're going to do is you got to get a brush and all you're going to do to to move away the um to delete the uh the blur itself off of the faces of people and uh, so forth is you're just going to take it and click and just color them in um I, what I usually do is start with the middle of their bodies at the opacity as 100 um, just because it it's harder in the middle and I want it softer on the outside so it looks more real so pretty much I'm gonna keep it here and I'm gonna take it actually I'm gonna use a little bigger brush uh, let's see yeah that works alright 
right, so basically I'm just going to take it and I'm going to color it on in. Uh, I'm not going to do this perfect, guys, just to show you guys. Uh, but I'm going to color it on in. Here we go, keep on coloring. Do look at their bodies. They look at pretty well. And then, um, when you get to around the edges, you're going to want to obviously make your brush smaller in size as well as change the opacity for it. I'm going to bring it down a little bit to around 55%. Uh, and that'll just basically get the edges and make them look more realistic. And if you mess up a little bit and just get it on the outside, all you do is you change it to white, change your foreground color to white, and just recolor it in. Um, it's not a big deal at all. It's, it's very, very forgiving, this is. Finish these edges and there we have it. Um, you may want to for this particular image, I'm just gonna it's really bothering me, a little overexposed. I want to fix that. Whatever, it's not gonna get perfect right now, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, now you can see basically, we took and made this background a little bit more blurry. We made uh, I forget what these are called, but we made them a little more blurry as well. Uh, and we brought the people out, and the bride and the two bridesmaids. Now they're standing out a little more uh, in the image, and uh, that's basically all you do. It's very, very easy. Uh, tool to use and it's very very forgiving as I said it's helpful um, but that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching uh, more tutorials coming soon again I'm William from the P2P studio uh, subscribe add me on Twitter like um, and send any requests you may have for any other tutorials and I, I will take care of those for you thank you guys and see you later